Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us again at the Panther Show. Uh, today I have our regular guest, Kyara. How you doing today? Good. That's good. Uh, anything you want to say to the crowd before we get started? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Daddy. Here, come on. <laughs> so, welcome again. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, today, well, once let me tell you uh, before we get started, we are representing uh, Barbara A. Sizemore Academy, w Academy, which is part of the Betty Shabazz International Charter School System. Uh, we're located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. You can also reach us by phone at 773-651-1661, or you can reach us on the web at www.bsics.org. So, we got a few more episodes to go. Uh, the season is winding down. I want to thank all my callers and thank everybody who's been tuning in every week. Um, today, our topic, the first topic we're going to talk about is uh, what y'all learned over at Barbara Sizemore the last few weeks. We, For Black History, we went over the Divine Nine, uh, those that are familiar with uh, fraternities and sororities. So I wanted to ask Kyra a few things, uh, just about some of the things she learned about black colleges, about sororities, fraternities. So, um, what do you well, what do you think about fraternities and sororities? Is that something that you might want to do uh, in the future? Um, yes. What do you see like any advantages to joining a sorority? Um. Well, yeah, I do. Well, tell me, I mean, what are some of the things you learned about uh, sororities? Like, you were, I mean, you, you, I, I saw you in the showcase, you did like a dance, uh, well, not a dance, I say a step. Uh, what mm -hmm. sorority were you representing? I was representing, I was representing the Deltas. The Deltas? Delta Sigma Theta. And tell us a little bit about Delta. What did you learn about the Deltas? It was, it was founded January 13, 1913 mm -hmm. at Howard University in Washington, D.C., HBCU, which stands for Historical Black Colleges, College University. So those were some of the things that you learned uh, over the last few weeks. And their, their symbol is an elephant. Their flower is an African violet. And one of the founders that I remember is Myra Hemings, Osceola McCarthy Adams, and Bertha Pitts Campbell. Yeah, uh, what, what I, I saw you um, in the, what was that, the... Uh, we had like a, a museum, the wax museum. Yeah. Who were you? Who were you uh, in that display? I was Henrietta Lacks. That's what. Okay, tell us a little bit about her. What I'm just I'm just trying to pick her mind and see what she learned for Black History <laughs> Month, everybody. So tell us a little bit about her. I mean, what, did you pick her? Or is that someone that was given that, to you? That was somebody that I picked. Uh, yeah. So tell us why did you pick that person? Tell us a little bit about her. I picked. Henrietta Lacks because, well, she, she, her sales were sold without her permission and without her knowledge, mm -hmm. and I thought it was unfair, so I wanted to re represent the fact that um, she should, she, she, it should have been with her knowledge, like, and she also had an unmarked grave, so her family really didn't know where she was buried, mm -hmm. and she was born August 1st, 1951. Mm -hmm. She had five kids by her cousin, David, David Day. By her cousin? Oh, okay. By her cousin David Day, <laughs> um, and one of her her first child was Lawrence Lex, and her first daughter, she was. That's um, right. You yeah, know. I don't remember her first daughter. Mm -hmm. Um, and like, and she died October fourth, nineteen. So it sounds like yeah, you no, learned quite a bit about this lady. Yeah, she was really special. She was, and really she deserved, special. and she she probably should have lived long. Her sales were still alive, okay. and that's why people sold them for millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Really? Yeah, her sales was her sales were still alive, and people sold them so that if their family member was dying, mm -hmm. they could have gave 
their her sales to their to family them, members so like they can live them. longer. I got you, I got you. Well, that's good. I mean, it sounds like you learned quite a bit for black history. I mean, I'm sure that wasn't the only thing. Um, last week, we talked a little bit about the Black History Bowl. Um, mm -hmm. You were in the Black History Bowl, too, weren't you? Yes. What place did your class come in? Third. Third, unfortunately. There were four places. There was eighth grade, then seventh grade, then sixth grade, then fifth grade. And the the order that was at eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, and fifth mm -hmm. came the places they were in. Okay. So, uh, well, that's good, though. I just wanted to share that because, you know, it's been a lot of controversy around the school of who's mm -hmm. the best and Rumors they about was cheating, cheating last w last year and all this other stuff. And this so. year, they said that they cheated. Really? Well, well, I didn't hear nothing about this year. What did they say They this said year? Mama Nikia cheated huh? because... Her class for her class. Yes, they because played. they kept saying Martel had the answers and was telling them answers. And then Mama <laughs> Nikia was like, you guys, I, I need an answer. She stopped at five. She's like, I need an answer. And then she didn't do that to the rest of the class. Oh, so she was just shot, kind of showing them a little bit of favoritism. That's what others say. I don't say that. Oh, so, but you you didn't see, you didn't observe anything going oh, on? Oh, I observed the fact that she was like, I need an answer. Holding that five. Ugh. Okay. All right, well, that's, you know, I'm not going to judge, you know, who knows. But from what I saw, the score was, it was pretty high. <laughs> so it really For probably didn't break. make much of a difference. But, but the swinging gears again, back to um, what we learned from Black History Month. But... Um, Kyrie, I mean, you're a very smart and intelligent young lady, and I know uh, I asked you when you, I'm sure you're going to college, right? In a couple more years. Well, I'm, I'm saying it, it's something that you want to do in the future, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so have you ever considered um, going to a HBCU, a, a all-black college? Um, yeah, because I might want to become a Zeta or a Delta. It depends on what um, college I go. Okay, well, let, let's take our caller. Caller, are you there? Well, hello, little girl. <laughs> hey. This is a lady that calls you every week. Thank only you. This, only this time I'm calling you all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, because I'm out of town. Ooh, she watching in Las Vegas. Hell, we got yeah, to watch my hey, little girl, how you doing tonight? You look beautiful. Thank you. I'm doing very well. And for as long as the show has been on all this whole winter... Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we hear you. You got a lot of good subjects. You did a lot of good subjects. Bullying, friends, dancing, your mama and your daddy. I hope you told them Auntie Paula said, hey, you did a great <laughs> job with me. And now I want to know when you're going to call Clyde Davis to get you up on that tape and make some dance moves. You can make your mom and daddy a lot of money. You are so smart. And you sit next to her. What's your name? I'm Baba Eric. You're a nice person. You're a real nice person. You keep that baby next season you come. All right, thank you. Yeah, this is like you... my school daughter right here. <laughs> my so thank you, caller. So, um, yeah, well, you know, I, I thank our caller again. But um, just back to the black colleges. So you said that you, you, con you considered possibly going to an all-black college? Mm-hmm. And when you join, I mean, when you go, you want to be a Zeta? Or a Delta. Or a Delta. I mean, what I, is it? I want to follow after Mama T. Mama T? Because, yeah, she was a Zeta. And the Zetas have really good steps, as well as the Deltas. And it's hard to choose because our new science teacher is a Delta, and my teacher is a Zeta. So it's hard to really choose. Yeah, I mean, when you get older and as you, you know, you'll make some decisions and you get off to college, you'll see which one you kind of like gravitate to. I mean, just about the college thing though, like are there any colleges in particular that you've thought of as far as black? Oh man, hold on. As far as uh, uh, any black colleges that you've thought of going to? Howard University. Howard Uni Why Howard? Because it seems like a good school. People tell me that it's a great school I should go to it. Da -da 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 -da. And then I was, I was just like, Seems like a good school because a lot of people going to it and they telling me about it. So I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, and it, it was the founder. What what else can you? Did you learn something about Howard? I don't want to give it away. Did you learn something about Howard University? No. I well, no, you about did. Come on. What it was the if it was the birthplace of of what? 
of the Zetas, the Deltas. There we go. <laughs> it was like, it founded like the first five black fraternities, right? Yep. So, I mean, those were some of the things we learned about. Um, I, well, before we go any further, let me go back to uh, letting you know who we are. We are the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy. We are located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. So, uh, you can reach us by phone at 773-651-1661. Or you can reach us on the web at www.bsics.org. So, um, I'll show a couple videos. I want to go to a video that Kyra actually was a part of. First, I want to say next week, I'm going to, I promise you, uh, viewers will have some videos of their performances because you all did some steps that I'm going to ask you about too. So, um, But next week we'll have some videos of their showcase performance. But right now I want to go into um, the 6th grade girls. They did, uh, we did a showcase a few months ago on the black arts movement. And Kyra was a part of that. And uh, let me go on and run that video. Unfortunately I'm not going to be able to play the whole thing, but we'll get right to those. see we have a new guest who is my guest here today Jason Simmons Mr. Simmons how you doing today good so Jason here um, is uh, well is our guest one of our guests today he is in the eighth grade over at Barbara A. Sizemore Academy and uh, what you think of Barbara A. Sizemore Academy I mean how long have you been going to school there well I've only been going here for two years two years so I don't really know much about it, but for the time that I have been here, it was a great experience for me, considering that other schools I've been is very cultural and everything. So I yeah. Really so compared it. to other schools, not to cut you off, but um, so you you've been here for three years, right? You say right? Two. Two years. I'm sorry. Um. So before that, compared to the culture, did you get as much culture as you get at Bossa at your other schools? No, not really. Not really. I mean, what about academics? Are you still on top of your game academically? Yeah, it's still about the same. So I hear that you, we just recently had some tests, and uh, what was this? What was these called? The NWEA test. NWEA test, and uh, I heard brother Jason right here did fairly well. So how well did you do on the math test? 
I got a 255. 255, is that good? How yeah. good is that? That's high school level. Oh, that's high school level. Hey, we got a caller. Let's uh take a caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, listen, I just happened to tune in to your broadcast late, and I didn't catch the whole... I didn't catch the beginning part of your broadcast, uh -huh. but from the what little bit I saw, it looked like you guys are doing an exceptional job with these students. I just wanted to know, what is the rate of acceptance of your students into top-tier high schools? That's a good, excellent question. Um, unfortunately, brother, I could get those stats for you next week. I um, This is my first year teaching over there at uh, Sizemore Academy. And um, I, those numbers haven't came across my desk yet, so I really don't want to throw no numbers out there because I don't know um, what what the rate is or, or the acceptance rate. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty high. I mean, I'm sure all of our, from what I've seen, most of our students or all do graduate eighth grade. I don't know what which uh, high schools they go to, but... I'll, I'll definitely remember your question and try to share that with you next week. Uh, we got another caller. Caller, are you there? Yes. I would like to ask the young man about the high school shooting because, I mean, he's going to be in high school soon, and I want to know how he's going to feel about it. That's a pretty good question. Um, there have been a lot of school shootings going around uh, these days. I mean, it's not new. It's been going on. So how do you feel about that? Going into high school, are you ever worried for, like, uh, your security? Or, or, you know, we don't have metal detectors over at our school, but are you ever worried? How do you feel about that? Well, at our school, no, because we have few um, security guards mm -hmm. at the front door. So... But when it comes to going to high school, I haven't really, like, heard much about it because I don't really watch the news like that. Mm -hmm. But but you're not really concerned right now. Yeah. It doesn't really. All right, let me take another caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. What's up? How you doing? My name is Raphael Miles. Uh -huh. I was just on the phone asking you a question about the rate of acceptance. Right. And it seemed like we were disconnected. Oh, uh, you didn't catch my response? No, I did not. The phone went completely dead. Oh, you know what? Are you watching us? Are you not watching us on TV? I was watching you, yes. So, I'm sorry, brother, but um, th on the phone line, um, he can't keep... Once you ask the question, they cut you off. You really have to uh, check my response. You have to watch us on, on live on, on screen because I gave you a response... Unfortunately, my response was I don't have those numbers right now, but that is something I can get to you. But let me take another caller for right now. I'm sorry, uh, last caller. But caller, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up, brother? You got a comment or question? Yeah, this is Bobby Eugene calling in. Bobby Eugene, what's going on, brother? Hey, brother, I heard um, somebody asking a question. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's going on, man? What's up? Now, I'm excited about the program, man, and all the information that's being shared um, on here about the network is, is awesome. Yes, thank you. And I heard that a, a, a caller asked about our, um, our rate of students that's being accepted into top-tier high schools. Right, right. So I just called in to give you that information. Hopefully, that'll help, help them out if you call back. Yeah, share, share it real quick, real quick. All right. Here you go. So about 90% of our students are always um, uh, are applicable to tests for selective enrollment in top 10 high schools, and each year about 60% of our students receive acceptances to those um, top 10 high schools in Chicago. Okay. So I hope that last caller uh, was listening in and watching us again because those were some numbers. And maybe next week I'll bring some more stats in. Uh, man, we blowing up on the lines. I mean, let me go on and take another caller. Caller, are you there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. This is Raphael again calling. I'm not watching the program, but I did overhear the gentleman saying that was it? Was it? Uh, did he say six percent? It sounded like he said six. I'm not sure if he said six or sixty, but um, 
It's, I heard him say 90% of our students do graduate or, or get ready to move on for high school. I, I don't, And then I think he said for selective enrollment, maybe 6% were accepted. I, I, I couldn't tell if he said 6 or 60 because it's kind of low in this studio room. But um, I'm sure we can clarify that for you next week. If you want to call back, tune in again next week. We'll be here. So, um, I guess maybe the lines have slowed down a little bit. But, so, back to Brother Jason. So, you did so well on your math, you uh, scored at a high school level. Yeah. Somebody told me, I don't know, somebody told me about in something you scored on a college level. Is that true? No? Um, Reading? Oh, what? no, reading was lower than the math. Well, what what was did you score the highest in? It was it the math. Yeah, it was math. But you overall you did fairly well. You you did above and beyond what what you what most eighth graders are doing. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm proud of that, brother. Um, let me take another caller. Caller, are you there? Oh, no caller. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty good, brother Jason. Um, have you thought about what high school you want to go to? Yes. My, so share it with us. Share. It. My top two picks are either Whitney Young or uh -huh. Jones. And jo Jones College Prep. Mm -hmm. Um, is that where is is that downtown? Yeah. Okay. So um, what about those schools that like really attract you to them? Well, for one, the top three and four on the um rates were high schools. Mm -hmm. So it's first is North Side. Then it, no, first is Walter Payton, then Northside, then Jones, then Whitney Young. Okay, that's good, man. I'm so proud that you into your education, man. Cause a lot of people in your class, or even some of these classes, man, they don't take education as serious as they should. But it's good to know that you taking it pretty serious. I mean, tell me this: Do you play any sports, or man, what are some of your hobbies that you like other than putting your head in the books? Well, yeah, I'm on the basketball team. Okay. So, yeah, I usually go to the practices Okay. and play with them. Any other sports? I mean, what are some of your other hobbies you like? Uh, I like I'm sure video games. Yeah, of course. And I like football. But I like football more than I like basketball. Okay. But my, the school year now doesn't have a football team, so. But you, if they did, you'd be on it. Yeah. Mm, I bet. Now, let me uh, take one more caller before we go. Caller, are you there? I'm always here. Where else am I gonna go? Is this is you calling from Vegas again? Yes, I am. They better stop cutting us up. That costs me money. Hey, <laughs> that's all you must. I you, oh, I, I forgot. I can't talk about money. Vegas is all about money, but I can't please, say nothing. It's a lot about everything. And please, you don't leave nothing. You bring it home. Trust me, Jason. Jason, can you hear me? We hear you. You what? You in eighth grade? Yes. Look like you're doing good. You learn anything this year? Yes. You gonna learn you're going into college of some sort? Went to high school. Ask that man next to you, we got any grants coming in for you kids? Hello? We're working on it. We're working on it. Come on, give them kids some of that money, right? Yeah, I mean we trying we definitely trying our best. Um I mean we we um I can't the show I can't really talk about what we do financially, but we are working on it though. Trust me, we we tr we trying our best to keep our not only just keep our doors open, but to just keep the money coming in so we can educate these kids the proper way. You know, getting books and computers and up to date stuff. We really need that. So, um, thank you, caller again. I'm I'm glad you called in. Um, it's almost pretty much time to wrap up. I, um, I also I want to thank Kyra for um, joining us. I want to thank. Christian and Bryson and Martell, all the people that you don't see on camera that's working them phones and, and going to give me coffee when I need it, all that type of stuff. Now, and I want to thank Brother Jason right here because this Jason is a, is a great student. I mean, I may actually ask him to come down again because he represents Bassa and uh, Betty Shabazz charter school system, I mean, very well. If every student was like Jason, boy, we... We be rolling now, nah, but um, I want to. Anything you want to say, Jason? Before we go, we got like about ten seconds. You want to get some shots out? 
I shout out to my mom, my friend Martel, my friend Don't Eat Eddie, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Bye. Alright, well I want to thank all my callers and thank y'all again. Tune in next week, same time, same channel. Peace.